Hello and welcome you watching the Thursday edition of This is Exclusive with me Shavan said ladies and gentlemen today you've had a resolution that, that was passed in the Jammu and Kashmir assembly seeking restoration of article 370 that brigade is once again back after the elections bringing in a resolution which has only kept Jammu and Kashmir in the dark for several decades put together tonight on this is exclusive we get you two news makers one from the Bharatiya Janata Party the MLA who was injured inside the Jammu and Kashmir assembly when the ruckus ensued and on the other is the man who put out that banner inside the Jammu and Kashmir assembly demanding that 370 should be brought back tonight we would like to remind them what was it like before 370 was abrogated all this and much more on this edition of this is exclusive but our first let's take you through the headlines we're tracking at this hour. उत्तर प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ रिएटरेट बटेंगे तो कटेंगे कॉल इन आगरा आस्क हिंदू टू स्टे यूनाइटेड मैं आप सबसे कहना चाहता हूं जातियों में मत मत बट जातियों में बटेंगे तो कटेंगे एक रहेंगे तो देख रहेंगे National call for unity among Hindus after Prime Minister Modi and RSS chief now Anurag Thakur says Hindus must unite in order to stand against divisive forces. Ruckus, brawl, fist fight in Jammu and Kashmir assembly over bringing back 370 Jammu and Kashmir assembly passes resolution for restoration of special status as a nationalist i am told no one can touch india's integrity no one can touch the manipur integrity days after mizoram chief minister stirs row by calling for separate christian nationhood during US visit Manipur chief minister N Biren Singh says no one can touch Manipur's integrity. We condemn the attack on the temple in Brampton and we also call upon the Canadian government to uphold rule of law and to bring to justice people who perpetrated the violence. We hope that the Canadian government will take due action. Ministry of External Affairs hits out at Canada says uh, our diplomats face increasing threats in Ottawa. For that entire brigade that has now been arguing that 370 should be brought back, a quick primer as to why we believe that that should not be the case. Let's take you through what really happened before 370 stone pelting. There is a substantial decrease in the number of such incidents. In fact, it is almost nil in the valley. Events like the G20 has actually taken place after 370 was abrogated. Let's continue with telling you what was it like before. There were bands that were basically called by the separatists. Now, a formula for event is to be brought in. That's where Kashmir is now headed. Let's take you to the other move uh, malls that were shut down. Halls in fact movie halls did not even exist first multiplex that was opened in 2022 this was after 370 was abrogated let's take you through the others rampant grenade attacks that have taken place before and what is this situation now 15% decrease in the number of attacks that have taken place having said that that's an area that's still work in progress let's take you through the others casualties in ied blast 77% decline in ied blast casualties that's what has happened post 370 
5,050 stone pelting incidents, 92% decline that we are seeing after the abrogation of Article 370. 370 police officers were killed in action. There's been a decline of 57%. Let's take you through the others. Private investments of 14,000 crore rupees that were blocked. Private investments about 81,222 crore rupees is what has been pledged for the development of Kashmir. About 1.56 crore tourists, it has gone up to 1.8 crore tourists. Now that's how it looks like as far as uh, in the valley post 370 so why exactly have these legislators back from the same very brigade demanding that 370 should be brought back this is what has happened inside the jammu and kashmir assembly earlier in the day Days after a ruckus broke out in the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly session over Article 370, another one took place today. Watch the chaotic, embarrassing scenes from Jammu and Kashmir's halls of power. This comes after People's Democratic Party legislator Wahidur Rahman Parra moved another resolution condemning the abrogation of Articles 370 and 35A. We don't want dialogue. We, this, is, this also talks about dialogue for restoring 370 and special status. We clearly want restoration of Article 370 and restoration of special st status in its original form. However, whatever is mentioned, we endorse it, support it. It's a welcome move and this is also articulating the ground sentiments of people of Germany. BJP leaders questioned the India Alliance on its stand on terrorism and accused them of opposing development in Jammu and Kashmir. आज मैं इंडिया अलायंस के नेताओं से पूछना चाहती हूं कि भारत की पार्लियामेंट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जो निर्णय सबको मान्य है उस निर्णय का अपमान उस निर्णय की अवहेलना करने का अधिकार कांग्रेस को एनसी को देश में किसने दिया राज जम्मू कश्मीर में पहली बार 370 से हटने के बाद संविधान बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर जी का पूर्ण तरीके से लागू हुआ है जिस पर शपथ भी ली गई है और वाल्मीकि समाज को अपना अधिकार पहली बार मिला है क्या कांग्रेस पार्टी जो इस सरकार की सहयोगी है समर्थक है क्या वो अम्बेडकर जी का संविधान नहीं चाहती जम्मू कश्मीर में भारत जोड़ो का नाम लेकर भारत तोड़ो की राजनीति करते हैं दर्जेंट्स आर आउट एंड दब्दुल्ला आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल With calls for special status of Jammu and Kashmir echoing loud, how will this shape the political landscape in the valley? Well, in fact, it all started with a demand that was essentially being made for the restoration of uh, 370. Joining me on this uh, broadcast of This Is Exclusive is Mr. Pathadia, BJP legislator who was injured in the ruckus uh, that ensued. And uh, you have uh, the brother of Sheikh Rashid Engineer who's joined us on this broadcast. First to you, Mr. Pathadia, what really happened inside the assembly? What was the demand that was being made? And we see banners that were basically put up. Why don't you tell Engineer Rashid's brother that how things have essentially changed and on what basis are they really asking? We'll try and say, reconnect uh, with uh, Mr. Patania in a short while from now. The, the legislator who was uh, present there, we'll try and also reconnect uh, with uh, 
Mr. Pathani in a short while from now. Sheikh Khurshid. Let's let me bring in Sheikh Khurshid, who is the, the legislator from Langate. Sheikh Khurshid, if I may ask you, there has been 156 percentage decline in terror activities. Over 1.86 crore rupees of investment have been brought into Kashmir Valley. This is after 370. You've taken oath under the Constitution of India, and now you want to bring back 370. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. May I answer? Yes, please go ahead. Ji, jo jahan tak hamari baat hai, kal jo hai, yesterday National Conference brought a resolution, they tabled a resolution on floor of the house and uh, we voted in support of that resolution. To uske baad hume ye malum hua ki wo jo resolution hai, usme jo hai kuch kamiya hai, hum chaate hain ki what we want and what we demand, our demand is that on 5 August, the decision was made, it was unconstitutional. Our decision was made against our decision. And we are not aware of that. You are saying that it is unconstitutional. If you say that it is unconstitutional, then do you also say that when the Supreme Court had petitioned the petition kharij ki thi to unhono ye kaha tha ki ye ek temporary arrangement hai to aap ye kehna chahte ki supreme court bhi galat hai bilkul aap supreme court ko bhi nahi manenge constitution ko nahi manenge to oppose to oppose nahi 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 constitution ko kyun nahi manenge supreme court ko kyun nahi manenge hum review petition bhi kar sakte hai supreme court mein but the question is jab hum election campaign ke doran jis wakat hum apne logo mein ja rahe the us wakat logo ki taraf se hume demand thi ki jab bhi hukumat banegi us wakat jo hai assembly mein ja ke aap kam se kam jo hai 5 august ka jo faisla kiya gaya jis wakat curfew yahan pe nafiz kiya gaya logo ko apne gharon ke andar band kiya gaya at least you just go there yeah, and raise aap, your jab, voice. You remember Sheikh Khurshid Ji? Sheikh Khurshid Ji, you remember that in this election, when you were campaigning in the Langate, you were campaigning in the Langate, so you didn't think that 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 you didn't think हम हर वक्त डाल लेके किनारे जाते थे हम आज भी डाल लेके किनारे जाते हैं बदलाव आए दिखा दीजिए मैं आपको चैलेंज करता हूँ खुर्शीद वेलकम करते हैं शेख खुर्शीद आपको मैं चैलेंज करता हूँ एक तस्वीर दिखा दीजिए मुझे एक तस्वीर आप मुझे दिखा दीजिए जहाँ पे आप खुलेआम कैंपेनिंग कर पाते क्यों क्यों नहीं कर पाते यहाँ पे क्या मैं आपको चैलेंज कर रहा हूँ मैं आपको खुले नेशनल टेलीविजन पे आपको हम नेशनल टेलीविजन में मैं चैलेंज करता हूँ एक बार मेरे को दिखा दीजिए कि आप खुले आम कश्मीर में क्या एक जमाना जब फारुक अब्दुल्ला फारुक अब्दुल्ला और उनके पूरे परिवार जब वो हुकूमत बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कैंपेनिंग भी कर पाते थे इलेक्शन कॉन्टेस्ट भी करते थे और वोट जो है वो वोट भी पॉल होते थे लेकिन इस वक्त आप देख लीजिए पिछले एक दो तीन हफ्ते से जो है वायलेंस की जो वारदातें हैं उनमें इंक्रीज हुआ है डज दैट मीन कि फिर अगर आपका आर्गुमेंट सही है तो इसका मतलब है तीन और पैंतीस एब्रोगेशन के बाद इस वक्त अगर वारदातें होती हैं तशद की तो क्या ये तीन के हटने से हो रही है ऐसा नहीं है doesn't mean कि 370 हो या ना हो इसका जो है वायलेंस के साथ कोई लेना देना नहीं है। आरएस पठानिया इस ओल्सो जॉइनिंग आस ऑफ दिस ब्रॉडकास्ट आरएस पठानिया यू हैव हर्ड व्हाट शेख खुर्शीद शेख खुर्शीद कहते हैं कि 370 हटने से कोई ऐसे फायदा नहीं हुआ है और वारदात होते रह रह रहे वो कहते हैं कि इसके कारण हो रहा दिखा दीजिए मैं चैलेंज करता हूं एक तस्वीर दिखाइए जो इससे पहले कैंपेनिंग आप खुलेआम कर सकते थे जब ओमर अब्दुल्ला दल्ले के बीच में अंदर जाके कैंपेनिंग कर रहे थे खुलेआम कर रहे थे मुझे दिखा दीजिए इससे पहले कब हुआ था मेरा 
पठानिया जी बीजेपी के बीजेपी के बीजेपी के नेता है Please, please, sir, allow, uh, allow me to put forth my viewpoint. Article 370 is now past. Okay. It is now a relic of the past. Article 370. It was to quote Jagmohan Ji, former governor of Jammu and Kashmir, in frozen turbulence. It was an article which uh, protected and which uh, virtually protracted duplicity, demagogy, deceit, and uh, virtually double speak of its worst sort. This is the article which discriminated with the doctors of Jammu and Kashmir, with the SCs. With the STs, with the OBCs of Jammu and Kashmir, which played taunt with the refugees, Valmikis, and virtually it simply promised and gave nothing. This is the article which uh, which is primarily responsible for the stoking the fires of terrorism. But that Mr. Patania, Sheikh Khurshid says Sheikh Khurshid says that it does not matter. That 1.86 crore Mr. tourists have basically come in. That does not That's matter. He is not. He is unwilling to. Sheikh Khurshid, I want to come back. ये कहना चाहूंगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट का यह कहना था जस्टिस कॉल ने यह कहा था कि इट इज अ टेम्पररी अरेंजमेंट प्लीज टेल मी दैट यू हैव टेकन ओथ यू हैव टेकन ओथ अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया डू यू बिलीव इन दैट दैट We have say yes or no, Kushida. Believe it. You answer my question. You answer my question because you want a separate status. You want a separate status. Then please tell me. Please tell me that haven't you taken oath under the Constitution of India? Yes, 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 yes. We have taken oath. Did you believe in that yes, or not, Mr. Kushida? Yes, we have Mr. taken Kuchy. oath under the Constitution you, of India. Did you? Do you respect that Constitution of India or not? Yes, yes. We believe. करते हैं क्यों नहीं? आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट को नहीं विश्वास करते आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट को विश्वास नहीं करते आपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के ऊपर भी सवाल उठाया है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन शेख खुर्शीद आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट आपका ये मानना है आप कहते हैं कि रिव्यू पिटिशन करिए जरूर कीजिए बट एक चीज बताइए मुझे आप मुझे बताइए शेख खुर्शीद शेख खुर्शीद ये बताइए कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट मेजोरिटी इन दिल मी समथिंग शेख खुर्शीद शेख खुर्शीद प्लीज टेल मी वॉट डिज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट से आई एम रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी एंड थर्टी फाइव एट देन वॉट देन वॉट Mr. Sheikh Kurshid, let me allow to let me allow to make a very very simple point, sir. With your with your kind permission, the first of all, okay. the Honorable Supreme Court, the Constitution Bench of Honorable Supreme Court has ruled that there was nothing like special in Jammu and Kashmir. Article 370 was a temporary provision. This is what the Honorable Supreme Court, the Constitution Bench of the Honorable Supreme Court says, okay. and there is a detailed chapter, special or temporary, mm -hmm. and the Supreme Court has virtually ruled it. Mm -hmm. and a matter which has virtually been decided by the honorable supreme court let us read the learned anchor was asking you if you believe in the constitution of india let's read article 141 all judicial executive and legislative authorities they have to act in furtherance of what the honorable supreme court says so is it not the attempt and the poster which you are beholding okay. today is it not okay. the horse is it not against does it not run in the face of the honorable supreme court judgment How the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly has got the power, the okay. authority, and virtually the wisdom and the rationale to question a law passed by a parliament If also. Thirdly, 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 the way may the Ashish, this, may this, may this, may this so-called resolution has been pushed through by the honourable speaker, who has more or less imposed a virtual martial law. Answer. There is a martial law in the Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly. This is shame. On the way this scheme may of things has been conducted on the floor of the assembly, this is shame on national conference and shame on Mr. the on the worthy and the honourable speaker that he has virtually imposed a martial law. Okay, Sheikh Khurshid, you are basically yes, so. This, are you arguing, Sheikh Khurshid? Sheikh Khurshid, this if cannot Sheikh be Khurshid, okay. Object is interrupted. May I answer? May I answer? Object, you answer my question. Answer my question. Now answer my question. You say you say you believe in the constitution. शेख खुर्शीद आप कहते हैं आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में मानते क्या इफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या आप वापस यही मांग कर रहे हैं क्या वापस आप यही मांग करके जम्मू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर को एक अलग फ्लैग हो आप यही मान रहे हैं कि एक स्पेशल स्टेटस दे दिया जाए अलाउ मी टू आंसर अलाउ मीट अलाउ मी टू आंसर If Constitution and law doesn't allow me, doesn't permit me to disagree with what happened on 5th of August, then go tomorrow and file a contempt against me. Let us see. Straight question that I am asking you: You are now asking for a separate flag, okay. a separate. 
constitution. Mm. You are essentially demanding special status. Mm. The fact of the matter is this, on multiple grounds, at least three clear grounds, mm. the Supreme Court has dismissed. One, it's a temporary arrangement. Do you agree or not? Wasn't 370 a temporary arrangement? I am asking you a simple question. If I am asking you a simple question. If tomorrow another government comes in the parliament and they pass a resolution, they pass a bill for revocation, for sorry, for restoration of Article 370 and 35A, then what? My question is very simple. You have the you said you want to go ahead with a review petition. Fair enough. Please go and do it. But my the fact of the matter is, is why is it simple. so very my difficult? No, one second. Simple. Answer my question. You have not answered my, my, question. my question. You have not answered my question simple. because it is uncomfortable. Because you will okay. the moment you say that you are okay with uh, accepting a separate flag, because that's exactly what you've been demanding. You've been demanding the special status that should be given. The okay. fact of the matter is that this has been denied on multiple grounds and the ground number one is that it's a temporary arrangement, something that your forefathers have also agreed. Okay. Then how was the resolution passed in uh, assembly yesterday in Jammu and Kashmir? Uh, that is a question that you should. That is a question that the chief minister should also be answering. The point of this, the point is not about giving any clean sheet to the national conference. Go, they should be also answering. Ask the Congress should ask, be answering. I am can, asking you. you, can, you I am you asking can, you, Mr. Sheikh Khurshid. You can, you I am ask, asking you because. You ask let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me tell you. One minute. Let me tell you. I am asking you because you are the same gentleman inside, on the floor of the of the assembly. You've raised a banner. Secondly, you have your esteemed colleague inside okay. the assembly who was injured. This is exactly what happened in the name of so-called bringing in democracy in Jammu and Kashmir. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Go ahead, Mr. Khurshid. Go ahead. He has nothing to say. Ji, ji. Just to mislead. Mr. What is your question? What is your Mr. question? Mr. Khurshid, tell, please tell me, on what grounds are you asking a restoration of uh, Article 370 when the initial understanding of 370 was a temporary arrangement so that there could be a comfortable arrangement with the Union of States? Okay. I, what I am, I am asking you. Then, how was the resolution passed yesterday? In you asked that question. That is a, that is a, that is a, that is a question. That is a question that you should be asking the chief minister because you, along with the chief minister, all are hand in gloves in doing this. You that's have it. no respect. You have no respect for the apex court. The apex okay, court was very it. clear. We have. What is the sec we have, What is we have the every right. And what is the legal hame, sense hame behind hame that hame resolution? We have every the right to agree or if if if. If, if, the, if, the, if the resolution has not any legal sanctity, then why is BJP demanding for withdrawal of the uh, resolution? Because, 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 Sheikh Saab, because, Sheikh Saab, the Lord Speaker and you, you all company, you have virtually demeaned the dignity and the decorum of the house. You have brought the dignity and decorum of the house to an all-time low. You don't understand the nuances of law. You have virtually taken the house for a ride. This house is not... For, uh, for scoring brownie points and for playing pity politics. This house is for, for exposing the cause of we the people of India, we the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The issues pertaining to electricity, pertaining to drinking water, pertaining to rain. But the National Conference has nothing to say. They, they have nothing to offer to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. They want to divert. They just want to dilate and they just want to delay and just want to defeat the virtual freedom which the people of Jammu and Kashmir have got after 5th of August 2019. People have got free from nepotism, from corruption. There's a work culture. There's a boom in the tourism uh, across the across the United of Jammu and Kashmir. There is a big, big change in the situation as ground. A sense of security prevails in Jammu and Kashmir. This doesn't suit you. You want an injured. You want a bruised Kashmir. You want a troubled Kashmir. You want a Kashmir. Why, why doesn't why, why doesn't it rule the Why rules. doesn't it? This, this is when then your shops run. Your shops will be shut if Kashmir is virtually on. On, on the normal side, your shops will be shut. This is burst, and we are on record to say you have been you have been playing anti-national and pro-separated strings. This is what your character is. This is what the people of Jammu and Kashmir have come to know. You have you have virtually you, you you see being elected to the legislature doesn't give you a license to say anything or do anything. 
you and everybody they are subject one to last word i want to give shekh kurshid give me one argument give me one argument supreme court judgment stands above give me one argument why 370 yes. has ever worked yes. for kashmir you have not been able to put together a cogent argument you have no response to what mr pathania has to say the very fact that this was not even entertained in the supreme court a bunch of petitions were basically dismissed ओके okay. नहीं आ, आप ये बताइए पठानिया साहब जो हैं इनको अपनी सियासी मजबूरियां हैं अदरवाइज आप देख लीजिए कि जम्मू का यूथ और जम्मू के कारोबारी और जम्मू के लोग भी जो हैं वो भी खुश नहीं है हमारी जॉब सिक्योर नहीं है हमारी जो जमीन है वो सिक्योर नहीं है हमारे जो रिसोर्सेज है वो सिक्योर नहीं है जी क्या बात करते हैं आप बीजेपी को पठानिया साहब को अपनी मजबूरियां हैं शेख खुर्शीद दिल्ली के शेख खुर्शीद में आपको वापस उनके अंडर शेख खुर्शीद मैं आपको एक तस्वीर भी दिखा दूंगा मैं आपको एक तस्वीर दिखा दूंगा जब आप ओपन जीप में नहीं था अगर शेख खुर्शीद शेख खुर्शीद आप भी वहां पे हैं इस वक्त मैं भी वहां था और मैं आपको एक चीज बता देता हूँ नेशनल टेलीविजन पे बता देता हूँ कि जब आप उस ओपन जीप में इस बार कैंपेनिंग कर रहे थे तो क्या आपको महफूस नहीं लगा क्या आप कह सकते हैं कि इससे पहले क्या इससे पहले क्या इससे पहले वो तस्वीर दिखा दूं वो तस्वीर दिखा दूं मैं वो तस्वीर दिखा दूं जब आप ओपन जीप में कैंपेनिंग कर रहे हैं बीचों रास्ते में क्या आपको लगता नहीं क्या वो हो सकता था लाल चौक लाल चौक की एक हफ्ता लाल चौक की एक हफ्ता पहले की तस्वीर भी आप यहाँ डिस्प्ले कीजिए ना वो तो इंटरनेट हमला हुआ यहाँ पे जो यहाँ पे जो यहाँ पे नॉन लोकल नॉन लोकल लेबर बेचारे जो मारे जा रहे हैं उनकी तस्वीर भी दिखाई है ना वो तो तीन सौ सत्रह है ना वापस आपसे सवाल आप किया जाएगा रहे हैं जैसे इस वक्त मेरे पास टाइम नहीं है आई एम रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम शेख खुर्शीद सवाल सवाल यहाँ खत्म नहीं होता शेख खुर्शीद देर वॉज नॉट ए सिंगल शेख खुर्शीद सवाल यहाँ खत्म नहीं होते क्योंकि देखिये शेख खुर्शीद सवाल यहाँ खत्म नहीं होते एंड देर आर क्वेश्चन दैट यू नीड टू आंसर and i asked you this at the beginning of the show but thank you very much mr patadi as well as shekh khurshid for joining us on this is exclusive that's all that we could pack in this edition of this is exclusive in the india today best universe